Hello students, today we are going to see the two points here. So if you are going to show like this, then the meaning of 1, 3, 4 is that, okay, that means starting from the origin, I have reached the destination point P by this method. That means 1 along the x direction, 3 along the y direction and 4 units along the z direction. If I move like this, I will be reaching a point P which is represented by 1, 3, 4. So, similar to this Cartesian system, how do you draw or how do you plot a point in the cylindrical polar system? So, now how do you represent this particular point in the spherical, uh, sorry, in the case of the cylindrical system? So, for that what you do is, first of all you have to draw the a cylinder. Let me draw and show it to you now. 1, then that will be a 2 and this point will be a 3. Okay, that's fine. So, first of all you have to understand what do you mean by that 3 here. You are starting from or you are standing on the origin and then you are walking along the x axis until you reach the point 3 and then you are now standing on the point 3 and once you are now on the point 3 you have to make an angle of 60 degree. So that means you are going to uh, come along the curved path here only then your angle will change. So this particular thing in this direction you keep on walking until you subtend an angle, you subtend an angle of 60 degree from the origin. So that is showing to be 60 degrees. That is the meaning. So you are going to walk in this direction until you reach a 60 degree point. How do you know it's a 60 degree point? Means every time you stand on the arrow, that is this particular arrow, you have to draw a line to the origin and measure. If it is not 60 degree, you walk further. And then once you reach a particular place where 60 comes and that's the place where you have to stop. So now I have drawn a vertical line up to this particular point. So which is the z equal to 5 point? This is the z equal to 5 point. This green color cursor is uh, I am showing now that is the z equal to 5. So if there is a cylindrical surface is also shown, it would be nice. Uh, this yellow color circular uh, path is lying at the height of z equal to 5 and it is uh, touching our point here. Yellow color straight line from here along this direction if you travel and then come here that distance will correspond to 3 so this one i am putting a tick here now we will see what will happen to the case of the vector how do you draw a vector so you have to put a arrow like this this is the direction if you are going to draw like this that would be some vector whether whatever symbol you use that is not important let us say that this is your a vector so we will see now how to make a conversion of the a vector from the cylindrical to the Cartesian or vice versa. So this is the example 2. Till now we have seen a first example where how to represent a point in a coordinate system. The second example is now that you know already how to represent a point and how to represent a vector. The question is now convert a point from one coordinate system to the other and similarly you convert a particular vector from one coordinate system to other. Let us consider or let us start with the problem A here and then you say that rho would be equal to. So once you have this, you have calculated rho. You, you must know what you have to find out. Rho comma phi comma z. Three of them you have to find. So now we have finished our calculation for rho. It is there rho equal to this. How do you find phi? So your calculation of rho is over and phi is also over. What about z? As I already told you, nothing will happen to the z. Therefore, it will remain as 3. Okay, so you don't have to do anything. So, therefore, our answer is given by minus 2, comma 6, comma 3. That's all. That is the answer. What is the meaning of the answer? The answer says that there is a point, that this is a space, you have some 3 dimensional, this entire thing is a 3 dimensional space. And in this particular space, you have a point P. This point P, whatever you write, minus 2, comma 6, comma 3, is identically same as. That is the meaning. Point doesn't change. It's only an alternate representation changes and therefore we get a square root of uh, 40 and then we have this 10 inverse of minus 3 comma 3. So point doesn't change. This point doesn't change. It is staying there only. What is changing is minus 2 is changed to root 40. 6 has been changed to 10 inverse of minus 3 and 3 is only in the case of special case of cylindrical system. 
3 remains as 3. But in other coordinate system, it will change. So, this is what is known as components are getting transformed. So, this is the okay. So, components will get transformed like this, whereas the point itself will be invariant. So, this point will not change, therefore, that will be invariant. Now, we will go to the second part. The second part is the conversion of the vector. So, let us write down what is the vector that we are interested in. So, our vector is a vector. Let me write down that this is the a vector. This is given to you. Okay. And we can evaluate always at the point P. So, that is an additional job. Uh, if, you, if you go back to the question and then see, you have to evaluate this vector at a particular point. Okay. So, that we will do later. First of all, let us see how to convert. The solution is quite simple and uh, you have to search which equation you have to uh, use for this and uh, from the previous class work we can always uh, choose this you have the matrix transformation equation and then you get a 0 0 1 once you know that this is the transformation then so i'll show you by erasing this so these are the ax ay az so you remove the ax ay az like this and then put the ax which is given so what is the ax component it is y times so this is y times and what about the y component x plus z that is given x plus z do you have anything with the z component no nothing is there therefore it is zero so you have to close this particular bracket so y times cos phi and similarly a phi would be equal to multiply these two we will get minus y times so this particular row i am showing in the green color see it this particular row will be multiplied by this column and then the last one is the a z and if you see that's all this is the answer okay but however okay however if you want to perform one more step namely the evaluation at the point then you have to do an additional work so, now let us evaluate this vector at the point. So, what point you have already, it is already shown here. So, let me go back and see. At the point here it is there, here it is there, minus 263. At the point minus 263. What is the meaning of evaluating this vector at? Uh, you, you may get a doubt why we are doing. So, let me show here. Go back here. So, what is the question? Let us see. Here it is there. This is your question. So, you have to again get back to the question and understand. At the point P is given in the original question. That is what we are doing. Evaluate it at the point P. That is what we have now written. So, let us now evaluate at this particular point. This is only one line work, additional one line you have to do. What all you have to do is substitute x equal to minus 2, substitute y equal to 6, substitute z equal to 3 in the previous expression. That is the meaning of this evaluation. 